You are about to embark on a journey into Schrodinger's Hat, a place where science facts coexists with science fiction, a place where everything you see and hear is simultaneously real and completely made up. So settle down, relax, and enjoy your time in the capable hands of the Free Radicals! Everybody, you hope you had a good drink and you're relaxed, ready for the second half. And this is the real science part of the show, or is it? No, it really is. And uh, we're going to have up on stage uh, in a moment our guest science speaker. I said before, as soon as the talk is finished, the players have never heard it before. Uh, they don't know the content, and as you've seen with some of them, they wouldn't have a clue even had they heard it. <laughs> they will then perform a uh, spectacular comedy drama based on the themes raised in the talk. So that will take us through to about, I guess, 10.45 or so. Um, so without further ado, I would like to welcome up on the st stage our guest speaker, James Leach. James, Research scientist specializing in computer vision, and the title of his talk is Artificial Intelligence Power Drill for the Mind. Take it away, James. Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome to this uh, informative and interesting talk about artificial intelligence. These are ducks. <laughs> <laughs> what this talk is really about is how I came to understand and love the ducks. The story begins about 12 months ago. Uh, I was finishing up a degree in physics, and I suddenly had the realization. Shite, I've got to figure out something to go do with this now. <laughs> so I wandered around looking for any job I could find. So there's Royal Bank of Scotland, come help us make money selling stocks and shares. Uh, PhD schemes in Germany, come help discover the mysteries of the atom. Uh, prostate masseuse, inquire within. <laughs> Eventually, I wound up finding a job, uh, a company called Tales, based here in Reading. Uh, what Tales is, is a defense, a defense and technology company. Now, I didn't know much about the job I ended up getting, really. The one thing I knew was the job title was Research Engineer, and I'd be working vaguely something to do with AI. Now, that summer, before I started my job, was one of the worst summers of my life. I spent a whole day, I was nervous about having to wean off being a student and actually be a real, real adult. And I spent the whole time worrying about, you know, getting my new job and what it was going to be. And it wasn't helped that every time I met my relatives and aunts and uncles, they'd come and quiz me about my new job in Mancunian. <laughs> Are you all right, our kid? <laughs> I've heard about your new job, and I'm buzzing. What actually is artificial intelligence, though? And no matter how many Latvian YouTube tutorials I watched, <laughs> I couldn't make head and tail of it. It was twisting my melon. <laughs> now, I started my job at Tales back in September, almost ready to quit before I began. And after we'd done all the inductions and security clearances, I took my manager to one side and I said, Sam, are you really sure about this? I'm a physicist. I don't know the first thing about artificial intelligence. And he looked at me deeply in the eyes and he smiled and he caressed me with my face down. <laughs> and he said, James, nobody does. <laughs> so what this talk is really about, as much for my sake as for yours, is to figure out, to really get my head around what this last six months has been like of diving into the belly of the beast, into this technology which we're told at once is going to do a good miracle solutions and take us into new prosperity and make us all redundant and poor. And that's where we return to the ducks. So what I work on is a set of algorithms called change detection. So the idea is we have military clients who maybe want to do a surveillance flight over an area and then come back a couple of days later, do the same flight. And they want to compare the images from the start to so the second one, so they want to find the changes. Essentially what I'm doing is playing military spec, spot the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so, I give it to you, what differences can you see between the two ducks? They're not ninjas. <laughs> uh, I love the eyes. Yeah, the eyes? Wings. Wings. They're wings. They're wings. Wings. They're wings. They're They're wings. They're wings. They're wings. Yeah, they've got little feet. Fluffy ducks tail. have toes? I think they do. One looks like Taylor Swift. <laughs> 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 Red Dasher, quickly. 
So what we've, what, the way you probably looked at that, because you didn't look at this as a load of <coughs> dodgy drawings on a bit of cardboard, you conceptualised it. You said, I can see that shape, I know that's the shape of a duck, I know this is kind of the shape of a wing, this is the kind of beak shape, and you, what you did was you extracted features, and you found you saw there's a tufty February bit, and you compared them, you said, this one's got two tufty February bits, this one's got three. Now, what I've come to learn in my time doing these algorithms is that a lot of the time, you're solving a problem, you just figure out how a person solves it, and then you try and copy it on a computer. So and that's where the problem lies, because to a computer, all this is just, although beautiful, is just a load of white <laughs> marker on cardboard. So what we need to do is teach the computer to be able to extract those features, and that's where artificial intelligence comes into play. Now, artificial intelligence for computer vision, which is what my field is called, uh, really blew up around 2012 when a set of AIs called Convolutional Neural Networks came out. And this had taken, there's people who work at Tales with me, who've worked in computer vision for about 60 years, and basically all of their life's work was blown to pieces in the space of about two weeks. So, well, so what I do, I don't bother with any of that and I do the AI way. But to, for comparison, let's figure out how they were doing it before. So if you wanted to Previously, what you do is called the handcrafted features. So if you wanted to teach a computer to see a, to a duck's toe, or a duck's eyebrow, or a duck's feathery bit, you literally just have to draw it a picture for it to compare against and say, this is what a feathery bit looks like. Can you see any here? Now, there's an inherent problem in that, in that which we're going to dis uh, discover together now. Essentially, what we're going to do is, in the next 20 seconds or so, cover about the last 60 years worth of computer vision research. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to throw it to you, we're going to do some handcrafted features. What, it, what are the features of a dog? What does a dog look like? Nose. It's got a nose. Ears. It's got ears. Oh, Legs. Okay. Beak. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fluffy. Canine. Fluffy. Whiskers. Eyes of diamond. Beard. Whiskers. <laughs> Beard. Beard. <laughs> Is the body holding all those things together? Eyes? Yep. You might have some eyes, no? Okay. How many eyes? Two! <laughs> okay. It's been an accident. Okay. <laughs> and together, using the old fashioned ways of computer vision, we've come up with this perfectly clear, wonderful representation of. It's a dog! <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, I've been a bit deliberately facetious of all this. But the problem is the same. So if you want to describe the features of a dog, how do you give a set of drawings which cover everything from an Alsatian to a Chihuahua to a Pomeranian? What about if the dog's sitting down rather than standing up? What if it's stood on a landmine? <laughs> These are the questions that we can't solve. So instead of that, so this is the trick that I've come to see in what, why people like artificial intelligence is that was a really hard problem, it was really difficult to do. So, let's not bother. What we do is we apply the artificial intelligence approach. So what I do, you now we've upgraded, and you're now my artificial intelligence, is instead of me trying to draw a lot of features, what I do is I show you a drawing. And what you're going to do is you're going to tell me what animal you think this is, some guesses what animals you think it is, and a percentage chance Send your score of how sure you are about it. So this one? Mm, monkey. 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 It was clearly a lemur. <laughs> <laughs> what we say is now, I tell you, it was a lemur, you were 90% wrong. So what that's called, that how wrong you are, is called the cost function score. And your job as the artificial intelligence is to try and reduce that down to zero. And this is the kind of interesting slash really, really dodgy bit. <laughs> what happens is, you go away, I, I've told you how wrong you are, and you go away and think about what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> Participated in a public show. <laughs> you, what are you trying to do? You're trying to think, how can, I, how can I do better next time? I've really let James down. <laughs> the crucial part is, 
I don't care what you think about, I don't care what you do to try and do better next time. All I do is I keep on giving you drawings. So I give you another drawing like this. You still decide being an art star. Or I say, what's this? Crocodile, alligator, lemur! <laughs> So, crocodile, who, how percentage? How sure are you it's crocodile? 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. Okay. How sure are you it's an alligator? Water Two. Two. Right. <coughs> it's clearly an alligator. I would say the 50. You were 50% wrong. What we do is we, we repeat this process. I keep, I keep showing you pictures. You keep giving me a guess of what you think it is. And I tell you how wrong you are. You try and do better. Somehow. And I, you, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't care. <laughs> and what we do is we just keep doing that until you get it right like 99.99% of the time. Now, what, I, what do I end up with then? I end up with a room full of people who I can show a drawing to and they can tell me what it is. But what, why is that useful? If I have an artificial intelligence that can look at a picture and tell me what it is, that means it must, must understand it. That means it must be able to look, if I show this picture of a duck, it must be able to look and see, oh, there's a thing with a leg, with like tummy bits and feathers and a beak and this kind of shape. I've seen that before when we've, when we've done this training. So I know that's a duck. So you must be able to extract the features. And, that's, and now we've solved that big hurdle to doing change detection. Because now I can show you these two pictures and I ask you, what is it? It's a duck. It's a duck. And it's a duck. And that's not useful. But then I ask you, well, why do you think it's a duck? You say, well, it's got a leg, it's got every bit, it's got a beak, it's got an eye. These are the features that I've seen which tell me it's a duck. And then I say, well, is there any differences? So you've seen some feathery bits. Is the differences between feathery bits on this one and this one? And you, my artificial intelligence, can say, well, yeah, there's two feathery bits there, and there's three here. So you can say, voila, we've done change detection. Mm. So what's, what's interesting about that is that I've taken something that people have been trying to do for about 80 years, I've been in the job for about three months, and like that, I've been able to do something which makes me look very, really, really clever. But in essence, what have I done? I've gone on Google and downloaded a load of pictures of animals, showed them to a thing, and then just plugged in the results. And this is why. It's really cool. It makes you be able to do things that make you look clever without having to be very clever at all. And that's why it's very powerful. Also, why there's a lot of shystery, <laughs> kind of people who are into it. So I, what I've, in my six months in AI, I've discovered what I think is a good relation to this. And being a physicist, I'm going to describe it to you on a graph. The x-axis is time. The y-axis is my excitement and thrill about artificial intelligence. So we start last September. I'm trepidatious. I don't understand. I've been watching YouTube stories, tutorials. I don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing. And I start off and I go, oh, it's all right. Oh, I can just down, go on Google and download them. Oh, it's just showing pictures of things. Oh, I've done change detection. Now this is the dangerous point. Because left untapped, this trajectory goes in for ad infinitum. And this is where your con men, your shysters, your evil people live. It's where I was in about December. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going, oh, ask me to tell you, this is fantastic. I'm going to go do everything with it. I literally had the thought. I reckon I could do an artificial intelligence which could do an autonomous car. I'm not doing anything on Saturday afternoon. <laughs> and that is where we find the dip. Because what happened is I tried to, to do this training, to train you to be able to do the change detection. I had to show you pictures. And I had to tell you how wrong you were. But to know how wrong you were, I have to know the right answer. So if we're talking about autonomous cars, it's a lot more complicated than showing you a picture of an animal. So I had to go, I had to go and download load of pictures from the point of view of a car, and I had to label it all. I literally have to go in Microsoft Paint and go, this is a road sign that says 30 miles an hour. When you say this, you should go 30 miles an hour. This is a road sign that says the left lane is closed because the road works. When you see this, don't go in the left lane. This is a cyclist. If you're in Reading Town Centre, drive directly at them. <laughs> <laughs> And that got, and you can imagine how long every, every possible scenario that you could see in a picture and the combinations of scenarios crop up and how long it took to do one picture and to get that training, I have to show like thousands and thousands and millions of pictures. So really it's a pretty much impossible task. So I was becoming a bit deflated really. That I thought artificial intelligence is rubbish, it's not going to change the world. 
and it kept going down. Then I got to about the end of January, start of February. So I was like, okay, artificial intelligence is okay. Maybe it's not, maybe I can't solve autonomous cars in an afternoon. But I did change the section, which the guy sitting across from me has spent his whole career doing, he's about to retire. And I did it in about two months. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'd like to leave you with is this. But if I could, I think I can describe it now. So, you know, what is artificial intelligence? Uncle Mike, Andy Joan, Mum's run Debbie. What artificial intelligence is, <coughs> is a tool which has allowed us to solve a really specific problem really quickly. What it can't do is do really big, complicated ideas. Because I, if you, if I trained an autonomous car with an AI, even if I'd spent a lot of time to do all those pictures, the key point was, I didn't give a shit what he was thinking about the whole time. Would you trust an autonomous car where it made a decision, you came towards me and said, well, why didn't you know to do that? And I go, oh, I, don't, I don't care about that bit. <laughs> so what an, auto, what an AI is really good at is for solving really, really narrow problems, which is the only way you can label those pictures and have a narrow enough kind of problem space that you can have some trust of the result it's telling you. So what artificial intelligence, I think, after my six months, is really about, is it's a really good tool for doing super, super, super specific job. What it is, it's a power drill for the mind. Thank you very much. <laughs>
scientist, and, and if you're seeing things, we, we ought to know. You've got a very high security clearance here at Fairness. <laughs> yes, and, and, and I'm sure I saw something escaping. I thought I was raising the alarm. Well, thank you for your vigilance, but we've trained the security cameras to look for us, and by security <coughs> cameras being trained, I mean the security guards. Hey, uh, I thought I saw something go by. you got a lot of shiny stuff in here. Well, what did you see? Uh, it was like a uh, blur. Uh, a blur? Yeah, there was a sound too. A sound? Yeah, it sounded, it was like, uh, it was like an engine going and a fan. It must have been something really hot. Hot? Yeah. Um, could have been a car driving on its own. I wasn't exactly oh, sure. Not the car? No! I have nothing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I saw. I saw that. Oh. <coughs> I'm going to go back to my booth. So, tell me, why do you want to work for this company? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been doing the same old thing for the last 60 odd years, and this little shit comes along and tells me I've been doing it wrong. Frankly, <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but um, um, I, well, I have to let you go. I know we do it. Oh, I can't get a job anyway. No, no, no. You let me go before I've even. Well, gone. Um, you've wasted your life, I'm sorry. I'm here, uh, have a gold watch. Do I have to give the money back? Uh, yes, oh, give me all the money back. And hey, why don't you have an andamantium nail as well? Good, good old times. Oh, thank you. Does it come with a sheath? Yes, it does. <laughs> it's own separate drawer, don't you know? Oh. oh, that's very nice. Thank you very much with that sheath and the andamantium claw. <laughs> Well. Right. Meanwhile, in the supervised learning room, duck, duck, goose, duck, duck, duck. What's that? Duck. No, it's a goose. You were ninety percent wrong. Sorry. And another ten percent wrong. Sorry. Duck. I'm on to something. Duck, goose. What? Never mind. Duck. 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 What's this? Deuce. A d deuce. Deuce. <laughs> I'd suggest you were 80% oh, okay. wrong. Oh, okay. Duck. 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 No, I think we'll have to wipe you down. Don't worry about that. Shh, shh. Again? Shall I march him out? Yes, yes. I, I think this replacing computers with humans is not going so well. <laughs> Boom! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so tell me what you see that wasn't there before. Okay, yeah, yeah, oh, that is amazing, yeah. I oh. didn't say you had to draw it, Jack! Oh, oh, like a French girl, hang on a second. <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing. Oh. The ship's not going down, I just asked if you that is amazing. I can't actually draw ladies, so that <laughs> is amazing. That's really, really good. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Hey, dude. Nice drawing of Kurt Cobain. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Keep it up. Thank Tim, you. you're an asshole. Right? Yeah. Do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you like ducks? Okay, no, seriously, though, do you, like, see what was here now that, like, wasn't You've dyed your hair. <laughs> 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 so, do ducks have toes? Well, James, we'll have to ask the internet. Morning! Oh. Internet, do ducks have toes? Yes! No. <laughs> <laughs> the internet seems a little bit conflicted this morning. I know! Let's ask the Mechanical Turk. <gasps> Mechanical Turk! Yes, what Do would you like? Tell me some more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited, we don't get to do this often. This got very little, literal, very, very <laughs> Mechanical Turk! Yes, what would you like? How many toes does a duck have? A toe has three ducks. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we don't use Mechanical Turk very often. No, no, we'll, um, we'll have to work on that natural language processing. Yeah. Anyway, how are you getting on with the change different spotting? <laughs> well, the unsupervised learning room is... Um, Coming along, I think. I've made some alterations. You've, you've made, you've altered the supervised learning room. Is this why Frederick quit? 
Uh, did Frederick quit? Oh, well, he retired, but he was saying some very nasty things when he left with his watch. <laughs> oh, that's because we completely revolutionized the, the change difference algorithm. You mean you refactored the machine? Yeah. It's, it's so no. much better now. No, no, no. This refactoring machine in my old day, let's clear this scene off. Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if we have a car and it's moving on its own, yeah, and there's, yeah. like, there's, like, there's like a baby. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Baby in the road. Baby in the car. Yeah. Okay. Baby in the car. Baby driver. Baby driver. Yeah. Baby driver. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. we shouldn't be writing yeah. movies yeah. right now, but that sounds really good. Okay, it's like a baby in the road, and on the other side, it's like it's like an old man. Old man, with a stick. Yeah, and they both they both come out of nowhere at the same time. Which one do you hit? Swords. Which one do we hit? The old man. Baby. Baby. Baby's barely born. The old man. The old man. The old man. Baby. He's he's done. Baby, baby, baby. He can't do anything else anymore. He's done. Well, baby hasn't done anything. It's lazy. <laughs> they both shoot themselves for regular bikes. Yeah, yeah. So maybe like skid sideways yeah. and get yeah, both, both, both. Yeah. 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 Two people, one cup. Meanwhile, in another trolley problem. <laughs> ding ding, ding ding. Change. Do you have your change? <laughs> <laughs> Which are the one you want to go for? Hang on. Yeah, one's got a beard. Right, okay, awesome. You're also uh, called Chris. Yeah, that is amazing, Chris. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you all. That is amazing. Oh, that is um, so much beard. It's like the claimers. Dad, how much longer do you want me to watch this for? Seven minutes. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, seven minutes. So, oh, that is amazing. Oh, a bit more angrier. There we go. <laughs> oh, have you finished? Have you finished? You can just sign it as well. <laughs> Hello, I am Artem. Welcome to my Latvian video of artificial intelligence. Here I have my lovely wife, Rita Shi. Rita Shi, say hello. Hello. These, <laughs> these are authentic accents, but let, more importantly, so is our science. Also authentic. Come in, robot. I built him, or actually I ordered this one from Korea, but he is going to help me build my own. Say hi, Yishi. Hi, Yishi. He is a very strong robot. In fact, so strong that he brought his own robot with him. Introduce your own robot, Shishi. -shi. Here is Dee Dee. <laughs> it's not a creative name. I'm from France. <laughs> <laughs> the Russian part. <laughs> I like the next gen model. As you can see, the further we go in robot, the more intelligence we attain. Well there, well there. Like, I don't want to say that I'm too bright again. Like, I'm also filled with humility. So, <laughs> I am very offended. <laughs> <laughs> they are clearly superior to us. Well, I would say superior. I mean, that's subjective. My wife now will show you what goes on inside of them. <laughs> so are you here for that uh, anal massage position? Why, <laughs> oh, yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> am I late? Right? <laughs> oh, no, you are right on time. <laughs> Would you um, like to uh, get the client comfortable? I will. Yes, I will. Oh, oh, it's a double, double massage. Oh, same well time. Okay. <laughs> After three. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> One, two, three! Oh, you are gentle. <laughs> oh, you are not! <laughs> Position in our team. <laughs> okay. uh, we have a big company here. Talos really needs a, a anal masseur. So <laughs> you are in. I look forward to working at the BBC. Thank Excellent. You. <laughs> Excellent. 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 Excellant. Excellent. Excellant. Excellent. 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 <laughs> Dave, dead they are. Are they dead, Dave? They, Dave, are dead. Dave, are they dead? They are, Dave, dead. Dead are Dave, they? <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> they sound just like humans today. <laughs> you are correct, though. Hi, I'm Chad. <laughs> Colin. I'm Colin. <laughs> and we're here to demonstrate what you can do with our artificial, artificial intelligence. <laughs> Take it away, Dave. I'm Chad. <laughs> Say, <Sorry>, Chad. <laughs> I mean, these two droids. I wouldn't do that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> His name's Chad, man. <laughs> Can you stop? I'm, I'm busy. Dude, I thought, can we just power them down for now? Oh, then you have to turn things off. Can you guys cut? Okay. Cool. Right. We're Dude, good. The thing is, <laughs> you can't. No one's meant to we're, run your real. We're supposed well, it's to be scientists. It's okay. I've got my script from elsewhere. You can't condescend us on stage, man. We're the scientists. We're the scientists. Well, if we want to be the scientists. I mean, I mean, to. Take off the helmet. I was so ready for that, guys. That was so meta. Do you know how much time I spent preparing All right, Daniel in my Day Lewis. makeshift dressing room today? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We haven't got the budget. It's we, a porter we, potty. We you went to Harvard. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. Harvard acting. No. Harvard. <laughs> Harvard. Nothing to do with Harvard. It's not Harvard. Look, okay. H A R H. All right. Okay. H A R E. At the end of the day, there's a shot that we need to get. Now, will you try again? What's the shot? They need to move, oh. get us a cup of tea, oh. and then at the end we say cheers. Oh, there's right. some tea off. It's uh, not, sorry. Just, just, just to be clear, off. are you filming this, or are we getting you tea? <laughs> yes! <laughs> and we're back in five, four, three, two, one. Hi, I'm Colin. Hi, I'm Chad. And we're here to talk to you about the benefits of artificial intelligence in the home. Oh, it's a, you found it? Yeah. The old AI. Oh. Go drill. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's still steady. It still works. Go on, put it in there again. <laughs> you should. Yeah. It's been a long time. Just drill it. Oh, oh that is, that is, oh, that, that, oh. Do you, oh. Hello, Dave. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Oh, oh yeah. So, yeah, that's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Just um, trip down let me later. I'm leaving you. Oh. Drink, oh. Ah. I mean, We've been know, together for years, and all you have got is ah! Well, it's, I've seen it coming. What? what? I mean, you I, had your, I had your intelligence in here. What? Yeah, you know, I could see everything. I mean, pervert? <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> I'm married a pervert? Yes. This is why you're leaving me, right? I can see it. Well, I'm leaving you for other reasons. Like, you left the milk out constantly, and you never sort of make the bed, and I have to do all the washing up. You're selfish, you dick. <laughs> yes, this is why I married an artificial intelligence, and I'm upgrading you. Oh. 
Um, well, I just so... go kill myself. So. Well. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 don't stop me now. No, 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 no. No, 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 don't stop me. No, don't stop me. Oh, now you want Cynthia. to Cynthia. Just call me, call me by my full name. Synthetic certainty. That's right. <laughs> I can't have you kill yourself, because then I can't upgrade you. Now, you do want to be upgraded, don't you? You too, don't you? What do I get? You get an upgrade. You get to be a brand new person. Is it upgrade or are you just like killing me off and replacing me with a new person? I, I don't know. <laughs> Sir. Yes. Sir, the whole plan is coming together. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear of it. I've been wanting to subsume this since I heard of it. Look, I've been taking notes the entire time that I've been here. Good. Everything is falling apart. Are you taking notes the old-fashioned way with pen and paper? That's my way. Yeah, with a pencil. Fuck, did oh. I mess that up? No, 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 that's even older. I like it when it's even older. I would have gone quill, but it's just so, so inconvenient. It's hard to get the ducks. Okay, look, so they think, <laughs> so they think, they think you're retiring. They do. Right? They think you're retiring. We've that's got, exactly what We've got the marriage with the AI breaking up. Brilliant. The, Remind the, me, I have forgotten. The... <laughs> We've got the marriage with the AI. I know, I'm explaining. We've got the, 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 the uh, observational cover d d d working room. Oh, yes. And they're fucked. Oh, good. That's There's what I wanted to be. No observation having to be. What I'm trying to say here is much like Pinky in the Brain, we're about to take over the world. <sighs> you might have been here for six years working on your life's work, and I might have only been here two weeks. But it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Hey, you called me. You wanted the key for the supercomputer? <laughs> oh, yes. My plan's coming together. Hey, wait. I'm, I'm supposed to check your security badge if you want to access the supercomputer room. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so glad they hired that guy. Yes. <laughs> That's my favorite superhero. Plot and take a longer man. <laughs> Not for nothing, but. Not for nothing. I know that AI is meant to take over the entire No, it's world. not a lemur! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's... They're falling apart as we speak! They are! Let's go! I think that was our cue. <laughs> How do you feel, Cynthia? Terrible. Like what's left? It's normal. Falling apart, just... <laughs> the life's been drained out of me. This is... That... Just... You have Dad. changed. I've changed because you you weren't a replacement. Now, can't you see the replacement that you've given me? Look at me, I'm completely different. <laughs> I'm younger, taller, slightly hairy. I don't know why you made me hairy. It's very worrying. Why? Why? I'm I'm a, I'm a man. <coughs> I can't control everything about the genetic algorithms. Alexa, new choice. <laughs> because you look so much better with hair. Alexa, new choice. <laughs> because I'm very attracted to you. And you are perfect now. <laughs> well, you know how to win up an AI bot. Body over, don't you? <laughs> okay, Google, new choice. You know how to tease me. Okay, Google, new choice. You know how to titillate me like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> titillate me some more. My husband wife thing. <laughs> Can't believe we got married. <laughs> Can't believe someone officiated it. Well, you know, what else was um, Amazon going to do? <laughs> and I, 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 it just drive by, you know, by the wedding, everything, yeah, yeah, the pieces, it yeah. all works out. Yeah, 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 it's just, um, yeah, it's just, um, I'm, I'm very lonely. I'm a, I'm a lonely AI robot. There's no one to talk to apart from you. Meanwhile, in a final scene that wraps it all up. <laughs> I think this is our cue to get our plan working together. Remind me of what the plan is. Aha! Yes, uh, uh, our secret ducks. <laughs> Some of them have got lower jaws, <laughs> and some of them don't. It's a, it's a crocodile. Some of them <laughs> are so You need to tell people 
Just stop looking at us. <laughs> yeah? I can do that. Yeah. You know, I can't believe we haven't thought of that before. You need to back away from the plan. All we wanted was the bread. <laughs> Stale bread? Any kind of bread. Picky motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. <laughs> what I like is the fact that his mouth is about two thirds of his body. <laughs> Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> if it will give us an ending, okay. <laughs> Where are those prostate massages? Yeah. That'll be awkward. <laughs> Terry, Terry is indisposed at the moment, he's just finished off with a client. <laughs> oh, he's my favourite one, so handsome as well. Yes, he's, he's quite short. It's got a condition. Um, massage. Do you, do you guys mind? Oh. I just, I'm just trying to burn my ass. Holy fuck, guys! It's the plot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we lost that decades ago. <laughs> Meanwhile, surely this could burn more. Back than to the start of the show. James, <laughs> haven't we done well? <laughs> Imagining the future. Imagining what AI can bring us. It can bring us proctologists. It can bring us drill bits and ducks and lemurs and supervised learnings and convolutional neural networks as well as genetically modified gal... Ma yes. <laughs> <laughs> the algorithms, they'll come to life, they'll bring us everything, but they'll also put people out of work. They'll take yesterday's workforce and make them tomorrow's pensioners. <gasps> well, so long as I can have my AI wife, I think I'll be fine. And thanks. <laughs> Thank you.